Sea Style Arrays. An array is a way we can store a sequence of data, all grouped together under one name. All of the elements stored in an array must be the same data type. When we create an array, we must specify its size during declaration. The size must be known at compile time, and the array cannot be resized. The array will contain a series of elements. Each element has a value and an index. A single element is basically one variable within the array. A value can be assigned to it, just like you would with a normal variable. The index of an element is its position within the array. In C++, the first element is at index 0. For an array of size n, the last element will be at index n minus 1. A very common error when working with arrays is an out-of-bounds error, where you try to access an index that is outside of the array. This can cause a crash. Declaring an array takes this form. You need a type, your array name, and then the size within square brackets. The size must be either an integer literal or a named constant. Variables are not allowed, at least not for all compilers. The array does not keep track of its own size, this is why using a named constant to store the array size is preferred. You can also calculate the total amount of elements by doing some math. We might also want to make a variable to keep track of how many spaces in the array are currently in use. We can access an element of the array using the subscript operator, which are square brackets. Within the subscript operator, we can provide an integer literal or an integer variable to access a specific element. We can also use a for loop to iterate over all the indices of an array. C style arrays usually aren't the best option for storing data in our programs, but next time we will cover some more options.